Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Today we're going to talk about ultralight keys. These keys are not made of brass, they're made of an aluminium type of compound which is just as strong as brass and the difference is in mostly in the weight and also the colored. So this one here is about half the weight of a normal size key. When we sell them online you will firstly need to work out what your key um, profile number is. For this one here if you can see it, it says LW4 just there. Uh, so what you would need to do is go onto our website and order an LW4. Different manufacturers have different type of uh, numbers. For example, this one here um, in a silk profile would say LW5. Because it's not a silk profile, it says CB, uh, C4B. So basically on your conversion chart, when you look at a particular item, um, you'll actually see your reference. So for an example, if, I was, uh, if you're on our website and you're looking for a C4B, um, you could look down and see the code is LW5 because different manufacturers have different codes. Make sure you do line it up correctly. You can also use the shape of the key as well to work out what the, uh, what the actual key is. Like you could you put it like that and you can see the shape. You can also see the length and the grooves on it. That's another good indication of way of finding out that you've got a matching key. The other way is to count the grooves. Uh, this is a five pin key which has five grooves on it so that would be called an LW4 or C4. Uh, keys with six grooves such as these ones here would be LW5 or uh, C4B. And that's just two of the most generic uh, key profile terms for these two keys so make sure you do line them up correctly when you do order them. Uh, these particular keys here are just Lockwood keys they're very common you can get them in a different variety of manufacturers such as Gainsborough. Here's some of the Gainsborough ones, uh, the blue, the purple, the light pink, the red, and we've also got Lanes as well. These ones are quite common as well, if you can see those ones. Okay, um, so when you do work out your keys, Lanes are quite easy to identify. Um, Gainsborough are quite easy to identify because they've got the little notch on the bottom here. Uh, sorry, little notch on the bottom there. Uh, Gains per, uh, sorry, these ones here are quite easy to identify. I'll just see if I can zoom in for you so you get a bit of a more accurate look at that type profile. So you can see those grooves on the side there. That type of key is a lane key. It comes in two versions, uh, the long one and the short one, but you can always chop this one down to do the short one. This is the Gains per key here. Okay, and you can always tell it by the little notch on the back there. And of course, that's the code there. So if you can see it, just there. So this is GR9. On a Silka key, it would be uh, TE2. Okay, and once again, these are the little like mailbox type of keys. And the reference for that one is uh, Silka reference. Sorry about the focusing, LF31R. Uh, this is just a standard another key and this is just to show you the key code that you're looking for and this one here it's SH5 okay so if you have any questions or email just take a photo of your key like this uh, please give us good uh, resolution photos so that way we can identify what type of key it is um, show us both sides of the key um, and we'll be able to help you out if not if you're confident you know which key you have generally speaking it's most likely a Lockwood key or a Gainsborough key we don't generally sell too many other keys these little keys here are quite easy to identify these ones here but if you do have any questions feel free to email our locksmiths and we can always uh, have a look at your photos and tell you which one you need so basically these are the lightweight ones these are the standard type of keys thanks for watching